Welcome back to Hackcode. In this video, we'll tackle a common interview question contains duplicate. Whether you're solving coding challenges or preparing for tech interviews, this problem will test your understanding of different techniques for efficiently finding duplicates. We'll explore multiple approaches including brute force method, sorting approach, hash sets, and hash map. By the end, you'll not only understand the time and space complexities of each method, but also know how to choose most efficient approach for different scenarios. So sit back, relax, and let's dive in. The problem statement is given an integer array nums, written true if any value appears at least twice in the array, and written false if every element is distant. Simple, right? So basically, we just need to check if the array contains duplicate. That means that uh, if any element is repeated more than once, we just need to return true. So in example one, we have nums is given as one, two, three, one. Obviously, one is repeated twice, so output is two because it contains duplicate. So here the explanation is the element one occurs at the indices zero and three. So basically here we see that it appears twice. That's why it's a duplicate element. So we return true. In example two, we don't have any duplicate. So we return false. The explanation given is all elements are distinct. In example three, we have all these duplicates. It's obviously it is true only. So what are the constraints here? So nums length is in the enclosure range of one to 10 power five. And nums of i is in the enclosure range of minus 10 power nine to 10 power nine. So this is the main constraint here. So if this is given as 10 power 5, it means that like uh, if you do an n square where n is length of the dumps, then n square would mean 10 power 10. But the feasible operation per second is only 10 power 8. So n square won't work here. It would give us time limit exceeded error. So we can either do it in n log n or n. Okay, here n log n can be possible, n can be possible, n square can be possible or n square above can be possible. Okay. So basically, uh, first let's explore the brute force approach. What is brute force approach? So basically, we have to iterate to the array, and then uh, for each element, we have to check if the element is repeated another time. So for that, we should be maintaining two for loops, just to check the combinations of two two pairs each time. So if you are given this array, we have to explore the possible pairs of combination. So here one, two, three, one is there. So we have to explore uh, for one, we have to explore like one, two, one, three, one, one. And similarly for two, we have to explore two, three, two, one. And after that we have to explore three, one. So basically for each number, we have to uh, take the next possible set of combinations. Okay. So that means to say that we have to use two for loops. So outer for loop ranges from zero to n minus one. Okay, and the inner for loop ranges from 1 to n minus 1. You got the idea, right? So basically, we have to use two for loops. Let's look into the code now. So firstly, since we have to iterate over the nums, we should be having this length. So let's show the length in some variable n. Length of nums. Next thing, we have to be using two for loops, right? That's why let's even two for loops for i in range. This for exploring all possible pairs length of nums which already have this and so let's use n only so here inner for loop should range from i plus 1 to n right as we discussed so let's do that for j in range i plus 1 to n so in this range if nums of i is equals to nums of j that means that we have a duplicate so for that case we have to return true so if there is any duplicate written here so if duplicate is not there, we should return false. For that case, we have to keep that return false out of the for loop. Let me try running this. So this accepted for three test cases. There are small cases, it accepted. So let me try submitting this. Obviously this would be time limit exceeded. See, time limit exceeded because the array length is vast. For that cases, n square won't scale up since this the upper limit of the n is 10 power 5. So we discussed it, we can perform this in n log n. How do we do this n log n? Sorting guys, basically if we sort it, uh, how does the array become? So for example, let's sort this array, it would become what? 1, 1, 2, 3. So we need to check if consecutive elements are duplicates after sorting. Then it's like we can determine like if there is a duplicate or not. So that's what. So we just need to sort it and then we have to check the conjugative elements. Let's code that. So first step here is like, uh, let me just clear this code. First is here sorting of array. For that num.sort method we have. 
and here next step is to just check the consecutive elements so basically we need to compare i plus 1 with i or it's like we can compare i with i minus 1 uh, so for that we can range from 1 to n right so let us range from 1 to n in the iteration so for i in range 1 to n we can check if nums of i is equals to nums of i minus 1 basically we are starting from 1 right here so we can consider like 1 minus 1 is 0 so basically the comparison starts from 0 and 1 I um, mean indices so if this is same then return true that's all else we had written false so let's try running this so guys there is an error so here we have a different n so let me try defining n so n is equal to what length of nums or else you can directly use it none of nums here but like i just define it for reference so running it again so it's accepted for three cases let me try submitting this so cool this is accepted solution now we see that n login is accepted so rather than this can we even optimize this further so how do you think we can optimize this so let's try using the set so if we convert this given list into set we'll remove all the duplicates right for that like if this this form the entire set we'll get one two three only this is the set so basically we can compare length of list with the length of set that's all right so let's try doing that So firstly we have to convert this into set. For that let's define a variable set nums. Set of nums. So now we can just compare length of nums with length of this set nums. We just need to return like length of nums not equal to length of set nums. If that is the case then duplicate is there right like this would take care of returning true or false based on this condition. Let me try running this. So here also there is one mistake. So we just need to use nums here. So now let's run this. So yeah, let's submit this. Cool, this accept a solution. So how can we solve this using set but in another way? So for that we can just define something as scene. In the scene set, we can just uh, keep on the adding the elements which we encounter. So if we encounter this element once more time, it means that we have a duplicate. That's a basic concept. So let's apply that. So we're defining one thing as seen here that is set. So for this, I just need to iterate over the range of this nums. So for I in range, we can iterate till length of nums. Now we just need to put this I in our set. Scene dot add. And what is this nums of i? So now we see, we add this. So before adding, we need to check if this exists, right? So if nums of i in scene, it means that we already have this element in our scene. So for this case, we just need to return true since it is a duplicate. Okay, else we just add the nums to the scene. At the end, if we didn't return true there, it means that it has no duplicate, we return false. Let's try running this. Accept a solution for three cases. Let's try summing this. So this accept a solution for all the test cases. Another thing, we can use hash map in the same way. So basically we can uh, defend the hash map like this is like an empty hash map. We can define using this brace or we can use dict. Okay, and then we just need to uh, do this like scene and then same thing. So we just return true if it isn't scene. If not, like how to add to a hash map, we can just say scene of nums of i is equals to some number we can give. That is the index only. Okay, so basically here the key is the array element and the value is the index okay it's the same thing we just use the hash map here in place of set so let's try running this let's accept a solution so let me submit this cool this also accept solution and also wrap and solve any contains duplicate problem with multiple approaches
If you found this practical helpful, drop a comment below and let me know which method you like the most. Don't forget to like the video, share it with your fellow coders and hit the subscribe button for more awesome coding tutorials. Until next time, keep coding and crushing those problems.